Come. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Ansley, stay. No, no, no. Stay. Stay. Ensley, come. Come on. Come on. That's a girl. Sit. Sit. Okay. Good girl. Stay. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Good girls. Good girls. Lulu. Hey, Inslee. No. Whatever your name is. All right, here we go. Okay. I think we're going to go down to the South Pool. Come on. Come on. I beeped her there. Good girl. That's a good girl. You want a treat too, Lulu? You deserve one. You're the hey, sit. Inslee, sit. Good kids. Okay. So far, she's acting quite different from other times when she's been off leash. She caught on to it and, oh, I'm free. I can go. Between the two dogs, Rupert and Lucky, I picked off two dozen ticks, embedded ticks, not dead ticks. They don't have any poison in their systems. Lulu does, obviously. It's a nice cool day, upper 50s. This is very interesting. Inslee's reluctance to cut loose and go. I'm in favor of it, obviously. Well, I think we need to go to Otter Pond where I can throw sticks in. Come on. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Good girl. Good girl. Oh my gosh. What a good girl. I'll give you a super treat too. Okay. Well, now, and there we go, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah. Good girl, that a good girl. Got him on for a treat. Here, sit. Good girl. Okay, come on. This is, I'm holding my breath because every time I've been excited before, you know what it's turned into in 15 seconds, 30 seconds later. I'm not counting these chickens before they hatch. And the secret weapon is Lulu. 
and how twice when I said, go get her, she did. She found Inslee. Uh, she went off like you saw. I walked ahead 40, 50 feet, and here she came. Oh, God. Did that sh shock that I gave her last time where she screeched? Was that the magic one? I've got beef. No! Inslee, sit. Stay. Come, come on, come on, that's a girl, sit, okay, here, <laughs> okay, that's a good girl. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. That's half hearted. Good girl. <laughs> Jesus. That was a duck I had just shot. Good girl, Lulu. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that? Mint. Let's walk up the ATV loop trail. Uh, maybe now she's going to take off if she sees me headed toward home. Good girls! Good girls! Sit. That's a good girl. Okay. You want to treat Lulu? There you go. Okay. All right. I turned on to the loop trail, left her behind, having faith that she would come. 45 seconds later, yep, here she came, right up behind me. I'm gonna have to, I don't need to do play-by-play -play anymore, I don't think. Getting to a point where that won't be needed. I said, where's Inslee? She took off that direction, now she's forgotten. Where's Inslee? Fickle woman. There she is, way up there. And something I've really appreciated with her through all this trauma of not coming, she doesn't hide. She's not evading me. Oh, this is a dream come true, folks. And you know me, I am, I need to emote. I don't know if that's the right word. Look it up for me. I'm not near a dictionary. You could find it more quickly than I could. So I think it's time to make a test. And I really don't want to have it fail. Come on, Inslee. Come on. She's down in there somewhere. That's the birch blowdown right back there. No, she's not responding. <whistles> Gonna have to get the remote out. <whistles> Gave her a beep. I don't want to shock her. Jesus, God, I don't want to do that.
There she is. <laughs> Came up from behind me. What a good girl. Turn the remote off. Get it on safety. Yes, good girl, sweetie. Oh, what a couple of really that's a wimpy piece here. Ensley sit. Good girl, sweetie. Lulu too. You were a big help, a cheerleader. Okay. Good girl, sweeties. Okay. Oh. Do me a favor. As my beloved cohort audience. Give this episode a like, would you please? This is just... Do it for Inslee. Do it for Lulu. Do it for... <laughs> Do it for life and love and kisses and hugs. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is a matter that I've been agonizing over for so long, which you all know, I'm just, I'm emoting. I have to do that. I'm so excited that this huge, Concern. How am I ever going to get her to get to this point? It became more and more of an impossibility. Really? That'll never happen. Here it is. Uh, okay. Like you'd believe me if I said, okay, I'll say no more. I'm done. I've had all the emotion released. Now we'll move on to something else, like having her fetch my shoe when she comes and takes it away. When I sit down to put on my boots and take a shoe off, I hurl it to the floor now. Well, I've always done that, I guess. She comes running and gets it and carries it off. Usually has it in her mouth when she comes back and it's time for me to, uh-oh, drop it. It is the remains of that grouse. And she will d drop it in the kitchen or the bedroom or somewhere where I will have to get up to go get it. And that's not the point as much as just teaching her to get my shoe. That's what her retriever jeans are all about. You know, we still have no mosquitoes. I've never seen a mid-May anywhere where I've ever lived with no mosquitoes. Sometimes there are fewer than other mid mays I did hear one a couple afternoons ago. I swatted at it <laughs> out of habit. But that's the only one that I've come across. What are the dragonflies going to eat? They should be along fairly soon now. Look at that. Good girl. One final success. Oh, I got the bucket out. I loaded some firewood. And last I left them, they were going into the where the bunny rabbit lives, just to the north of the of Appaloosa slope. And no problem. When I came back around with a bucket of firewood, Lulu's, Lulu's right here looking off in that direction. <laughs> so I whistled, called, waited, whistled, called, waited, looking down there, but also looking where Lulu was, was looking. So finally I said to Lulu, Go get her. Go get her. She knows exactly what she did. She headed off down the path in the north meadow. And I looked around past the, the burn pit to the ATV loop trail. And here she came, Inslee, running. Oh, I had beeped her. Finally, I had beeped her. And then Lulu headed out. And here came Inslee. She stopped up by the septic 
stand and looked back like she didn't know where I was. But I think she was looking back at about something else. I don't know. Maybe a wolf was chasing her. A pack of wolves. 18, 24 wolves mixed with um, feral coyotes. But I called again and then she finished coming up here. I had fairly attacked her with joy and love. <laughs> she just lays right down then and soaks it all in. Oh my God. And Lulu was barking, barking, barking at. She was right, right here next to me and Ensley and barking with joy. Oh. So that was what, number six today of success? Just a little earlier, I had been down on the terrace doing some hedge trimming, and last I had seen, Inslee was headed down the driveway toward the west, toward the power lines. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> so when she finally came this time, that, that time, she came up Toes Wet Trail just as happy as a lark. She got the same joy overload and when i was loving her up i told her oh you have no idea how much fun we can have now being outside with you free to go and free to be with me and free to explore and not have to be on leash she understood every word she grinned at me <laughs> a lot of fun now to come with us if I don't have to be holding on to the leash and she has to be captivated and not able to go, be free. What a miracle. Oh, look at this. My first major plant sort of looks like clover and I think it's some form of clover but it gets big it gets big and bushy I know what I got to do I want to go look for flowers and cherry tomato plants probably not tomorrow the place will be mobbed I'll go on Monday but I want to get, I got four bags of Miracle Guru and I want to portion these out into my pots. I'm not going to do as much this year. Well, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to do jalapeno. Maybe I should because, well, last year was a total loss on just about everything because of the soil. It was crappy soil. And this year with miracle Grow, maybe I should get, if I can get just one jalapeno, I don't think I can. I think they come in a four pack. Anyway, I want to portion out into each pot to see how many plants I can buy based on how much soil do I have. And I want to do that before I go buy plants, obviously. By way of reminder to me, I will see these and say, oh yeah, yeah, I got to do that. Look at how this maple is. It's about crotch height. Very, very robust, healthy looking. And my little oak and my other little maple. We didn't get, well, we got about as much rain as they had predicted. I keep hoping they're, they're going to be wrong. Rain gauge had 0 0.013. So, well, that's okay. Kind of disappointing, but I'm not going to go there this year. And I've looked ahead the fool that I am for the next week and beginning next Friday, a week from today, ooh, 
Friday and Saturday each had about a half an inch of rain predicted. That would be major.